What's going on drivers and fellow CB enthusiasts, it's Jay Rich back again with another one and before we get into that video, I want to announce the two winners of the 7 foot skip shooter giveaway. These are two 7 foot skip shooters that I recently gave away in one of my previous videos to my current subscribers. Now if you're not a current subscriber, go on ahead and subscribe so you can be in on the next giveaway that I do. So my two winners are one Thomas Warmouth and Shannon 07121. I believe I said that correctly. Both of you have messages in your Instagram box that you need to go check because I need some information from you to be able to send these to you. Now let's get on with the video on why I don't use factory coax. What's going on drivers and fellow CB enthusiasts? It's Jay Rich back again with a short clip on why I always, always run new coax in any truck that I change into. And I mean, the the industry of trucking has gotten away from CB pretty much altogether. And manufacturers, they don't care about CB performance. That's not what they care about. Uh, they're more into getting the trucks more fuel efficient and uh, driver comfort, kind of stuff like that, because, hey, that's what we're into nowadays is saving fuel and being comfy while we're wearing our flip-flops. So let me show you this real quick. All right, so this is factory coax right here. And if you compare it to the coax that I buy, the this is a RG8X. And who knows what this crap is. It probably says it on there somewhere. But just look at the thickness difference in this coax. And you've got, in some systems, a bunch of these connections. Now look at how much bigger this connection is compared to this factory connection. And out here on the outside, you also have a, another teeny tiny... Let me hold the camera right. Another teeny tiny connection and where they have taken and folded this over and put this bag crimp in here. Now, inside the core uh, could be broke. Your center conductor could be broke inside there. You don't know, but. Now, I wish I had a piece of the factory coax that I could cut open, but I'm trying to leave this truck intact as much as possible. Um, I do have another video that I did shoot and I did show the actual like center conductor and the shielding uh, and the foam of the factory stuff. And just as, as a comparison, uh, you'll see that in my uh, 680 and 880 uh, coax install, but you don't know what you're getting in this factory stuff. And I can't stress enough, I always, always recommend running your own coax. Uh, there are other trucks like the Kenworth 680 and 880. There are a ton of little those little junctions and every one of those junctions is a power loss. Anyways, I'm Jay Rich. Keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.